Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and every reading is for you. This is gonna probably relate to the full moon as well. So, keep in mind that the full moon energies uh, bring in things that are gonna happen, you know, in the next few months, okay? Uh, so, anyway. Let's see what we have for a message today. What do we have for a message today? Six of Wands reversed. Now the Six of Wands reversed is a lack of success. You know, fighting a battle, stiff competition. <clears throat> it's like we have somebody here that is not winning. They're not winning. This is a lose. It's a, like a loser. You know, losing a battle of some sort. It's, it's like a failed attempt. No, oh, there we go. Nine of Swords reversed. So Nine of Swords reversed is extremely exhausted, worried. Uh, a lot of mental anguish. We got somebody here that is... I feel like they're giving up. They're giving up. Six of Wands reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. This is too much. It's overwhelming. Can't win this battle. This is like a not winning the battle and it's just overwhelming. A lot of thoughts. You know, a lot of a lot of mental anguish. So going through a lot of mental anguish right now. A lot. Giving deep thought, giving deep, deep, deep thought and hearing all kinds of things. Oh, you know, really, this is too much. It's like, oh my God. In, in the reverse, it's an extreme. Extreme, oh my God, this is too much. This is overwhelming. What should I do? How am I going to handle this? I, this is a failure. It's not working out. There's no victory here. There's no success. So I do believe that we have somebody here that, you know, is this, their gut is really, 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 really speaking to them. And I feel like there's some sort of lack of recognition. You know, they're not being recognized. They're not getting the support. They're not winning this battle. And so it's causing all this anxiety. There's a need for a change, obviously. There's been competition. There's been a lot of games. You know, uh, a decision, somebody made a decision, they made a decision to depart or to go in a different direction and there's been some sort of failed success to go in that direction or uh, lack of support, no support. And now it's like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm not getting, I'm not getting the accolades. I'm not getting the support. I'm not winning. I'm not winning. And so there, it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? You know, so we, I feel like we have somebody here that is in a place of mental anguish because they're, they're fighting a, a losing battle. It's like the only way you're going to let go of that mental anguish is to probably walk away. You know, you can't, if you choose to fight and compete with something that has proven to not be successful, then your ego is in the way because a six of wands reverse is somebody that is very cocky, very smug, very competitive, that likes to fight, even though this person doesn't really have the experience you know, so we have somebody here that is very prideful, that is unwilling to give up when they need to give up, and they're causing their own mental anguish. The best thing to do is to stop fighting. 
Stop fighting. Stop fighting change. Stop fighting evolution. I feel like we have somebody here that has an overinflated ego and they're just unwilling to give up the fight when it's time. It's time to give up the fight. It's time to stop fighting. It's time to stop competing and playing. You know, it comes before that six of wands is the five of wands, which is the competition in the games. You choose to play. I mean, it's, it's, it's a game you can choose to play. You can choose not to play. You don't have to play. But ego says, I got to play, right? I got to play to win. That's what the ego says, right? And this playing to win is causing so much stress. I'm telling you what, that nine of swords is extremely stressed out in reverse. We got somebody here that is extremely, extremely stressed out. You know, the six of wands reverse is going backwards. It's going backwards instead of going forwards. You know, you need to go forward. Stop going backwards. If you're going to, you can't look back. Okay, you can't look back. You always got to look forwards. Back. The past is behind you. But you can choose to keep playing games and involve yourself in competition and fight for something that you're not going to win and cause yourself mental turmoil or you can step forward. The choice is always yours, right? You got somebody here that's struggling, struggling to move forward. Bottom line. <clears throat> Page of Swords reverse. Now the Page of Swords reverse is aggressive. It's aggression. It is aggression. I feel like we could also have some sort of hostilities here. The Page of Swords reverse is somebody that likes to fight again. This is a troublemaker. This is also somebody that may have some learning difficulties. I'm just being honest. They, they, and they can't accept the truth. Dishonesty. There's an, it's like a message is coming or you've received a message that you don't want to hear. It may have something, may come from somebody that is younger that just, you know, doesn't, just speaks. You know, this person just says something. They don't care. They're just, they're just telling it the way it is, you know, and it's harsh. I do feel like it's harsh. It's like, oh my God, I didn't want to hear that. I can see it with the nine of swords. Like, because this person's covering, it's like they're covering their ears. I didn't want to, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And a lot of you didn't want to hear what I just said. And a lot of you don't even want to hear what I want to, a lot of you do, because I have a lot of supporters, so thank you. Thank you to those of you that are awakened and have supported me in delivering the truth. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't want to hear the truth. Don't tell me the fucking truth. And they're not winning because they don't want to hear the truth. All right? They're not winning a battle because they're covering their ears when the truth comes out. It's like, I don't want to hear the truth. I don't really want to hear it. Mm. Page of Swords reverse is bad news. Six of Wands reverse is bad news as well. We may have somebody here that is definitely in some mental anguish. This person's in mental anguish, they're suffering, they're hearing things they don't want to hear, and you know, they could even pick a fight. That Six of Wands is, is fighting a losing battle. They're not going to win, they're not going to win the battle, but somebody could be acting, you know, out of their own pain, okay? Somebody could be doing something out of their own pain because they're not getting support, they're not getting recognition. The devil reverse. This is like a disaster. It is a disaster. It is. I feel like we have somebody here that has some addictions. This is extremes as well. It's not always breaking free. Okay, this anything in reverse is an extreme or an absence of. 
We definitely have an absence of success here. We have a smug, cocky individual that is fighting a losing battle. They're not getting any support. They're highly competitive. They're struggling mentally. This person is really struggling because they're not winning. They're angry. They're upset. They are wanting some attention. Somebody wants some attention. They're not in a good place. They may have some addictions. They could be acting. You know, they could be doing something because they need some attention. I'm just being honest. We have somebody here that is really, 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 really suffering. And they're thinking a lot. They're thinking a lot. They are. I feel like this person is out of control. They're losing their control. It's almost like losing their mind as well with that nine of swords reverse. They're like losing their mind. They're losing their ability to control. They need to break free from this toxic situation, but doing so is going to probably require um, some sort of support or accepting support or going in a different direction, travel. And this person's unwilling because they're so highly competitive. And because it feels like they've, they're worried about what everybody else is going to say. They may have said something, you know, without thinking. And now they have to own up to it, you know, and it's embarrassing. There's some sort of public embarrassment. So they're trying to live up to whatever it is that they said. You know, and, or, you know, their fantasy, because the devil is fantasy, it is. They're trying to live up to the illusion, you know, to whatever it is that they portrayed, to whatever it is that they said. So they're going to extremes. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to go to extremes. This person, it, I don't know if they have some addictions or they're obsessed. There's some sort of obsession here. They need to break free from this obsession, but they're going to have to be honest with themselves. And I don't feel like this person is willing to be honest with themselves. And th because they're not being honest with themselves, they're suffering greatly. Big despair. A lot of despair here. Mind. It's like mind games. Mind games. We have somebody here that is really in their head. You know, they're thinking a lot. They're 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 in a they're in a situation where and it feels like they're they're there's some sort of addictions or they're they're tied to something that is toxic, and they need to find a way to break free. Oh my God. So there is going to be a profound life change. Everything changes. This is the death card. So this is the end of things. This is a major transformation. It's a time of transition. There is going to be an ending. Something is coming to an end. Somebody is going to be breaking free. They are. Because they've reached a point where they're not winning, they're not, they're losing, they're losing the battle, they're losing the battle. So something is coming to an end. This is a, this is a separation or a loss or, yeah, that's what it is, is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. Right? This is the death of a situation. It is coming to an end. So we are going to have a profound change. Extremely stressed out. This is the end of suffering. Somebody has been suffering. They have been suffering. They've been suffering a lot. They are. They have been. We have Capricorn here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Scorpio. Um, we also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Losing a battle. Aggressive behavior, unwilling to cooperate. I 
Hierophant, upright. So there's a higher power involved. Somebody is being guided. They have so they're receiving some sort of guidance. Their intuition is really, 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 really speaking to them. You know, this is a card to me of God, of a higher power that is guiding somebody in a new direction. This is a card of faith. It is a card of believing in yourself. It's a card of commitment. It's also a card of marriages and funerals. Churches. Fathers. Pay attention, listen. We have somebody here that has a direct connection to God. They're going to be receiving a message. It may not be what you want to hear because right above that is the Page of Swords reverse. It may not be what you want to hear. But there is a higher power involved here. Somebody has been suffering greatly. Really big time. And they're losing this battle. You know, they're giving up. They're giving up. They are, I don't know, let's just get another card to go with that. We may have somebody here that may be committing themselves to change. Because the death card is change and the Hierophant is commitment. So somebody may be committing themselves to breaking free from a toxic situation that has caused them so much suffering. They've been unable to accept the truth. They've been unable to move on. They've been competing. They've been fighting a losing battle. They've been listening to poor counsel, hearing all kinds of things. They've been obsessed going backwards. There is some sort of protection though, because the Hierophant is about protection as well from a higher power. But that's like learning some sort of a lesson. There's guidance there's or a counselor or something like that. Somebody is going to be receiving some, whether it's from their gut or it's from a spiritual, you know, teacher or a counselor or God or something. Somebody's going to be receiving, you know, some sort of counsel. Mmm. Major disruption of a foundation. This is a shock. This is a shock. Somebody's about to get a shock. This is a rude awakening. This is a major life change. Somebody is definitely being guided to go in another direction. This is, a, I mean, the tower is a necessary evil. It's the universe forcing some, and the devil reversed his force as well. There is some force change here. Big time change. Major change. I'll show you what's on the bottom here in a minute, but this is a major disruption. It is a major life change. This is the end of suffering. It's the end of playing games. It's the end of a competition. Starting with a clean slate, somebody's going to be building a new foundation someplace else. This is moving. It could be even getting thrown out. This is uprooting, definitely. This is a complete shock. Somebody's about to get some shocking news. It's a surprise. We have something that is very unstable that is about to crash or it's crashing. It's crashing. Okay. There's going to, it's like it's crashing to the ground. It's, and there's, there's no choice but to start over.
major disruption. Get prepared. I don't think you can get prepared because this is, you never see it coming. You never, you never know when, you never know when it's going to happen. You never know how it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. Okay. Unexpected choice in love, major life choice, major, well, we got major change already. We have many majors here out of these cards. So this is universally driven. We do have a change here. It's a profound life change. We have an ending with a new beginning to follow. Somebody is making another choice. They're choosing another option. This is an unexpected choice in love. Expect the unexpected 100% all the way. Okay, expect the unexpected. We have a foundation that is about to receive a major disturbance, a, rate, a major disruption. Okay, things are going to change. They're gonna, there's going to be some force change. There's a higher power involved with that Hierophant card that is guiding somebody to go in a different direction. And they've been going backwards, fighting a losing battle. And it's caused them so much stress. So much stress. It's time to break free. It's time to break free from this. It is. But ego has gotten in the way. Ego. Ego. Yes, the devil is all about ego. And fear. But this is an unexpected choice in love. This could be somebody that is falling in love. They're making another choice. When you get this, this is a major choice. This is also a card of consequences. So be careful with your choice. If you go backwards, you're only gonna, you're still, you're, you're going nowhere. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself and somebody hasn't been, they have not been listening. They have not been listening. They have not been listening to anybody, to anybody because they've been obsessed. They've been obsessed with, uh, I don't know, something that is lust. You said we had lust, right? You're not winning. There's some sort of disgrace here as well. Something, light is going to be shed. Something is going to be revealed. It may be a shock. It may be a shock. It may be, oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. It could be a move. A separation, a loss that leads to a new beginning. I mean, that is what I got. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security, refusing to move on because of, I don't know, codependency, ego, pride. This is a disgrace. It's publicly embarrassing. I made a mistake. Starting over is imminent. Starting over from scratch. 